G'day mate, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Jitty, and today's episode, today's episode, I hope we get into some oil, but first, last episode, last episode, we spent the whole episode working out our kitchen, refining our kitchen, improving our kitchen, and we now have a permanent deep freeze zone, where all our food goes, and it survives forever. It never, ever, ever goes off. Uh, it did require a complete kitchen rebuild. It also requires us still to find natural gas for our gas range. Um, but that, of course, is over here. And first thing we're actually going to be doing is going to be finding out what that is. Because I have no idea and it seems probably important. Um, so that's going to be our first job, finding out what this particular geyser is. At the same time, we might even get into the natural gas geyser. It's not super high priority. There is a few things we can cook. Actually, there's a, quite a few things we, we can cook. Maybe we do want to get into that. Uh, but at the same time, I've noticed that Mr. Friday, even though he's cooking his heart out, even though he has skills, 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 he has plenty of skills. He has a cuisine of level 14. Four of that from, from skill points and ten of that via natural skill. He still can't keep up. So what I do want to do is probably set him up with a second friend to help him out. Now, the way we're going to do that is by removing this rock crusher because... Oh, uh, the redesign. We should cover the redesign. So the redesign, we had this auto sweeper. This auto sweeper could access the food and put it into the, both these machines. But we didn't have a second auto sweeper take the food out and put it back into storage without creating an infinite loop and infinite loops are bad so uh, after a little bit of playing around a little bit of redesign I moved everything over two tiles which also means I had to move the giant egg storage over two tiles which was a nightmare let me tell you but now this auto sweeper can access uh, all the food that drops out along with any coal that ends up in storage along with any meat and ship all that out automatically. And yes, uh, that was what was cried for the redesign. Um, it was a little bit of a pain to do. Uh, hang on, lighting, lighting, lighting. Do you have? Do we have a second light? There's no light set up. There's meant to be a light there where that plant is. Okay, something else for me to do later. Uh, but what I need to do is I need to move, remove this rock crusher. I'm going to do that by setting this one to do table salt instead. Bring out decon and buildings. And we're just going to remove everything in here. Uh, because I'm going to need to set up a second auto sweeper about here. Here. One of these two tiles. To be able to access uh, the food storage and put all the food into a brand new electric grill which we're going to put right there uh there seems like the perfect tile now that can now access we don't have idle chips do we okay uh that can now access food storage we can now cook the food we're also going to need a once again a second auto sweeper that can put food in there so i'm going to have to put another auto sweeper well this one actually doesn't matter we can put it there, but I'm going to need a conveyor loader that's outside the range of this auto sweeper. Uh, plug that into there and grab some conveyor rail out of gold and plug that in there. Now, it does mean that we're going to start leaching some of this cool out, which is a double edged sword. One EQ of the base could probably do with a little bit of a chill. Two, it means our machine has to work harder because now it's losing some of the cooling that it's doing. Um, yeah. I don't really have a fix for that. So, uh, we're going to set this this uh, frying machine up right here. Uh, we're going to turn on... Suppress. Uh, and turn on suppress because I don't need to see them anymore, and as soon as that's built, which needs power, and speaking of power, can we just get rid of that? Uh, we can copy the settings across. Now, the other thing I'm going to want to do, copy settings, done. The other thing I'm going to want to do is, uh, Frygo is basically stuck here forever, and I'd like to give him some decor. 
But yeah, he's standing around a lot of machines and stuff that is not happy for the decor. I have given given him some sweetles that are gonna run back and forth and sort of help a little bit. But overall, decor is pretty bad. So, uh, I want to go into furniture. Uh, we're going to put down a, la a large metal sculpting box, because that has a decor of 20 right there. At the same time, I probably should just put one down here as well. Uh, oh, you're going to need duplicate motion sensor, light, uh, no, automation wire... There to there as well, just you know, keep keeping the theme of things and furniture. We're also gonna do a sculpting block, a plain sculpting block, decor five, marble blocks two tiles wide, which I don't have room for there no matter what. So we're just gonna put one of those there and there, and we'll call that a day. Okay, uh, but also means I need to definitely go into our priorities. And definitely remove everybody from decor. Because I do not want them playing around with the decor unless they have the skills. Uh, we want us to go furniture because it helps a little bit and every little bit counts. Uh, is it not in the furniture? What is? Crown molding. Again, granite there, there, there. Sure. Alright, so that's done. We've almost found out what this is. Come on. Uh, actually, we're going to dig out those as well. And capture, wrangle, 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 wrangle. Grab both those sweetles. And it's a... I don't know. Smoke. Move. Here. Dig that tile step. Excellent. It is a cobalt volcano. Okay, we're going to hit that up for the Analyze. If it's a Cobalt Volcano, we're going to have to cool the Cobalt that comes out of it. So, we're going to come down here really quickly. We're going to go uh, Liquid Pump right there. A Liquid Reservoir right there. We're going to go Plumbing, Liquid Pipe from there. Let the autosave complete. Uh, liquid pipe from there to there. Output pipe. One, two, three, four tiles. Right the way across. Volcano ends there. Put a vent in there. We'll have the duplicates dig out that section, that section. I don't know if they can get those two tiles. Uh, and also going to have them put a tile in right there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have the dupes get on with that plumbing. I do want to change over those pipes at least to gold pipes. Uh, just so we can take away a little bit more heat away from our thermoregulator because we're going to be pumping 20 degrees water past it. So it's definitely going to help. At the same time, I'm going to separate two of those tiles and go back into plumbing and we're going to rate limit our valve. Yes our liquid and last thing I want to do is I do want to set up some just simple automation from pump to tank just so we can fill the tank up wait till the tanks empty and then we will run uh, the machine again okay so that uh, no power power that was the other thing power there to there okay can we put in the automation yes okay so that's gonna take care of that problem Next thing, most important thing, uh, second most important thing, third most important thing, but uh, definitely the main uh, the main project of today's episode is getting down to oil. So I think we're going to dig in at that height. That gives us access to oil. I've already planned this out. I've also told the dupes to, uh, to mop up this oil because I want to put in a liquid lock right here. Um... Because there's a few things down in the oil biome. Uh, main one is going to be the spore chutes, uh, which put out spore, 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 zombie, zombie spores. That's the words. Okay, we're going to set all that to priority six to make sure it gets done in a hurry. No idea why that was priority one. And we're going to set that as camera point number one. Camera point number two being our kitchen. 
We have Fry Guy. He's moved to his new kitchen environment because obviously he likes the new one over the old one. Uh, which now has some positive ish decor. Sure. We'll take it. Um, and yes, we can now use either this one or this one to put food in. Doesn't really matter which. Oh, temperature. Minus 14, minus 15. Uh, we have to stay at minus 18 to keep food frozen. Shit. Uh, radiant gas pipe, hydrogen at minus 20, chlorine's at minus 16. Yeah, because we're cooking food, we're heating it up. Like, that mushroom is... Is, 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 is... Conveyor overlay. Can I see... Mushroom at 88 degrees. Uh, what are you set to? You're set to minus 50. Uh, I guess it's going in at 20... Five and coming out at 16 and then 16 degrees is coming back to here at 14 degrees so it's it's losing too much temperature okay 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 what we're gonna do is for the moment we're just gonna disable the second kitchen uh, yes I think that's gonna be our plan we're just going to have to disable this kitchen for now. All the food that's in it will never go off because that's a feature. And Fry Guy can just keep cooking at that one until we work out a solution for this. Uh, the other thing I did last episode is I might have made a small boo-boo. Uh, we might have... Uh, that's 30 tiles wide for our great hall. Uh, minus two for the water cooler. I have 28, uh, 28 seats and I have... 28 duplicates, which means I can't bring in any more dupes. So we need to rearrange this uh, whole uh, hatch farm uh, and move it. Because the only place this auto super can reach to fill another refrigerator is right here. So I need to move, remove all this. And the way we're going to do that is obviously by grabbing granite tiles, granite tiles, uh, and putting in a brand new hatchery. Right. Is that four tiles? That's five tiles. You failed, Jenny. Uh, dig out four tiles high. Put a brand new hatchery in right there. Um, yes, yes, that's definitely in plan. Uh, the other thing I do want to do is, only because now we have plenty of gold, is set up another couple of Atmos suit docks, just so it's done and dusted. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to have to Move our eggs up a floor. I'm also going to set that to one before we start a duplicate loop. Uh, want to move that storage bin to there, that storage bin to there. Uh, the eggs have been moved up to that level. Cool. I can get rid of that auto sweeper, which we're going to instantly replace and put up here instead. Uh, electrical cable, cobalt into there and into there. Which then means I can get rid of all that electrical. Uh, after these storage containers are built, I can copy some settings across. Please. Sweep only. And it's got to be built up there anyway. Uh, that can go away. Come on. Oh, it's all pretty one. This is the problem. I set things to priority one so I can plan things out and then forget to set things back. Five, 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 five. Uh, actually, eight. Does that mean... No, that's all built correctly. Uh, you, I'm going to rate limit to one kilogram. That should be plenty uh, to pump up to here. Well, it's got a little while to go to fill it up, but you know, it'll get there. It'll get there. I'm going to end up forgetting about it anyway. Um, okay, so once these are built, I can copy these settings across. Uh, okay, we want to create a drop off there. We want to obviously build in the granite floor. Uh, copy that setting to there. 
copy that set into there. I can allow the dupes in here. We're going to have to do a wrangle. You two. Uh, and the dupes are instantly going to start moving all that polluted dirt back down the bottom. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, copy that to there. Still set to sweep only. Deconstruct that. Uh, can I get a pretty? Oh, I didn't change it. Build. Pretty five. Thank you. Uh, which means the ground's also set for priority one. Yeah, let's change all that to a five, please. All right, copy that to there, which means I can deconstruct that. I can deconstruct. Well, I want to take out the gas vent anyway. Plus, I want to take out you. Plus, I want to take out the storage bin. Gas vent, I want to run to here. Uh, that, I want to move up a floor. Uh, shipping, shipping, shipping. That, I want to move up a floor. That. Oh, somebody just dropped some meal ice, which is going to fall all the way down there. That, I probably want to... Move it down like that. And I actually want to move that to there as well. And that to there. We're going to do a complete redesign. Because as long as polluted dirt and stuff is in the walls, it can't off gas. So this is this is here as a backup. So this can grab any uh, rock pile that happens. If anything goes off in here, it's going to get grabbed straight away by this auto server. Put this conveyor loader and shipped out. Okay, very, very important. Uh, if the... Uh, if the conveyor rails are in the wall, it means they can't off-gas, which is perfect. We, I thought I said wrangle. Uh, okay. And at the same time, I want to set... Oh, are you built yet? Not quite. Uh, dig that, dig that. Uh, we're going to set up copper... Actually, I don't want, really want the doors made into copper anymore. Uh, gold, there, there, there. The next one will be there, but I'm actually going to make it one tile smaller. Uh, we'll put a tile on top. We need one of you plus one of you. <sighs> one of them plus one of... Again, the wrong tile. One of them plus one of them plus a critter feeder right there it also needs a loader and now that we have access to them we want a receptacle there it's going to need a light there a duplicate motion sensor here yep uh, auto sweeper out of cobalt as well because we have a pile of cobalt and should be us done. Uh, actually, hang on. Some of these have a nickel, negative, negative nickel. Uh, minus 15. Cobalt. Gold. Let's take the gold. Uh, conveyor loader. Okay, so we want a loader out of gold in that orientation, I think. And the auto sweeper out of gold as well and a touch of automation wire uh, there to there okay that fixes that problem all right uh, one poke shell two poke shell excellent okay deconstruct buildings we're gonna remove all of that which is gonna break this hatchery entirely but hopefully Hopefully the dupes can be build this fast enough that it doesn't break things too hard. And you should be able to access that one. Yes, and that one. Perfect. Okay. We're going to copy that to there. Uh, we're going to copy that to... Come on. Come on, Andrew. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There. Uh, we're going to stop dupes walking through that wall. We're going to copy those settings to there. 
We're going to also grab shipping, conveyor rails, out of gold. I uh, already set up the Dreco farms to be able to ship stuff out. So we can just join into the exact same uh, lines to ship everything down here. And then Dreclet eggs, the ones, the glossy Dreco's, the ones we actually carry, get up about automatically get moved down here. And then critters can also get automatically get moved back into the pens as uh, we come down here and auto wrangle them. So that should do that. Then we can set you to zero. Come on, game. And even go as far as a wrangle. All of them. And they should automatically get moved up here. Morb! I'd like to wrangle you and put you down with the other Morb, but I can't. I need to capture you in a plastic trap. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open that door. We'll open that door. No. We'll set that one to... Mm, the, the hatches are already scheduled to move. Okay, we're going to open that door and open that door. Set you back to auto. Hopefully the mob... Yep. As long as the mob doesn't fall through, I'm pleased as punch. Uh, helps if the ground was not a priority one. Hopefully. Hopefully he stays. Uh... Okay, so that's done. Uh, you need a suit and a suit and a suit and a suit. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, back at oil, uh, helps if you tell the dupes to dig out those two tiles, JD. It all works better then. Okay, so nothing's happened. Uh, cobalt Volcano is done. There's plenty of liquid there. I can probably do that. And this is set up for turn off at 90%, turn back on at 10%. You're set to one kilogram worth of liquid. We're done, we're dusted. This is a problematic, because we're up to just a touch of water so far. And if that liquid gets too high, um, yes. Bad things happen. So we might even just put in a backup. Liquid shut off. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, let's move that to there. Yes, with a automation, a hydro sensor right there. And we'll plug that into there. And what we'll do is we'll enable this if the liquid gets above, say, a kilo. It'll just move all liquid this way and dump it over this side, which is probably good because this is going to go idle in, not for 32 cycles, but extra water over here will never hurt us. Okay. Uh, Morb is still stuck. Excellent. Uh, you are at seven of eight critters. I'm not sure if a Morb counts. Ooh. I wonder if you'll get auto wrangled because you happen to already be in a stable. I think the lions is calling them all. No. A hatch jumped off. Hum. I've never tried moving a mob in a in a stable through the auto feature. That might work. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh that is set to priority five, so it should get built. Uh, okay, so now this stable is done. What we're going to do is we're going to do deconstruct buildings. I want all of that gone. Uh, automation, I want all of that gone as well. Uh, Buildings-wise, we want to go you, 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 and you. Okay, then granite tiles all the way along. Uh, we can also remove those f funny looking gas pipes. I can put that there. I can put a door there and a door. 
door there and a door there. That's the one tile I need to cancel because we're just going to run a pipe up. Because we might as well put another, uh, another, um, reed fiber here. Because why not? Uh, okay. And then granite across those tiles. Alright, so we need two doors there and there. Uh, we need power. We need to remove all of that. We need to plug a new power cable in right there, which we're going to put another fridge in. Uh, we need a whole bunch of tables, which is going to have to be out of copper, because somehow I've gone through all that gold. We're just going to have to find another slime biome to kill, I think. Uh, I need a water cooler out of granite. You should definitely be made out of granite as well, but, you know, I screwed that one up. And finally, oh my god, there's no copper left. Uh, no copper and no iron. Somehow. Somehow I've used it all. Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's go look at oil again. Okay, we have access. We've swept up all that. What I want to do is I want to put... Crude oil in there, probably nine. Uh, copy settings there and there. You, we're going to set to always open. I just want the door there so we can lock dupes out eventually. Uh, and the other thing we now have access to is lead, which also means this is going to be another important one. Power cables, conductive wire out of lead, because I'm going to need power down here. Through there, through there, through there, through here, and into that. Because we have one singular hydrogen generator uh, that is currently powering this whole power network, which consists of, well, these guys that we don't need anymore, and these guys we don't need anymore, and I think, yeah, we're not quite done. I need one more deodorizer. Uh, but it does mean deconstruct buildings and get rid of you and you and you and you. And I gotta leave you because we're plugging into you. I can get rid of you and you. Alright. So that's something. We technically have a liquid lock now. Um, technically. And mission number one, we're going to go with seven, because this is like the high priority mission, is going to be dig down uh, seven tiles and start digging across. Uh, we want to go two directions. We want to go both left and right. And I could micro the dupes and probably get make faster process process but I think I'm just gonna let them auto dig uh, just because it makes my life easier it means we can concentrate on multiple tasks at the same time because dupes are slow at getting things done or I give them too many things to do that's entirely possible uh, okay so with this semi done uh, deconstruct buildings that one 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 and that one with this semi done it means i can jump in here and we can finally pick a new jeep oh my god um so we have two researchers who are both kitchen menaces uh immune to food poisoning with some rocketry skills uh or we just go extreme science and then we can train them to do something Okay, we're going to bring in They're both, they're both so horrible They're not horrible, but they're just Useless, okay, before we do that, skills What does rocketry actually do us? Uh, rocketry does those two skills. I guess we could have a rocket pilot. Okay, so let's bring in 
Lucas. Lucas, uh, welcome to the party. Thank you for being a lovely Patreon supporter. Welcome. We're going to give you the wonderful skill of... Well, rocketry goes in an exosuit. No, we're going to put you in supply carry. Uh, okay. All right. Good luck, Lucas. Uh, hopefully you find a job to do. I don't know. Oh, priorities. Do, do I even bother? Do I even bother? Uh, I lose you completely. Oh my gosh. Lucas. Lucas. There you are. Uh, supply story tidy. Sure. Go nuts. Alright. Uh, we can put in the rest of the granite tiles that the dupes have done. We can copy those fridge settings from there to there. Eventually they'll get this done. It's going to take them a minute. Uh... Yeah, that's all been told to be replaced at least. So it's just a matter of the dupes getting around to it. Okay. Uh, back to oil. It's going to make slow progress. There's going to be a lot to do when it comes to the oil biome. An awful lot to do. So, yeah. We're just going to leave this on the back burner. Uh, meanwhile, so we go back to home base. Go oh, the flying around the map. Uh, so that's done. It's not dug out yet. Uh, they're putting in the longest pipe ever, which, actually, what is the priority on that? Five. Yeah, I guess. Uh, those suits are set to deliver, but nobody's done it, so we'll just nine that real quick. Uh, okay, that door gets copied to there, that door gets copied to there. Uh, this, this is not even dug out. Guys, what are you doing? I've just given them too many tasks. Okay, I think I'm going to see you in a sec after the dupes play catch up because there's obviously a few things that they need to get done. Uh, preferably finishing this floor so we actually get our bonus back because that'd be really nice. Oh, um, uh, shipping overlay. Yeah, that's a nightmare. Uh, remove that and that and that. And that. Okay, after that's removed, I can turn you back on and we can start shipping out. Uh, shipping all the polluted dirt back up there to feed the poor little poke shells that have nothing to eat. And I can turn you off sweep only. Uh, no, I need to leave you on. S Actually, there's no egg there now. Yeah. Alright, see you guys in a second. The duplicates, don't get me wrong, they've done a serious amount of work. Like, we, we, we've got all the way to the left-hand side, haven't found any actual proper amounts of oil. We've just found the little skerricks that we've, we've found previously. We have put enough oil in here, 50 odd kilos, that hopefully that'll give us a liquid lock that won't break. Because I have a feeling this biome is slowly going to melt. Yeah, with that up there and everything else. Um, yeah... I don't want water flushing in. That's basically it. And to the right, they've made good progress. We've found one of these lovely POIs, which we're going to play with. I admit, we're going to play with. We're, we're definitely going to put a duplicate in here. But they're taking forever. They're taking forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the printing pot, obviously. We're going to choose a new friend because we always like new friends. Uh, mm, digging, tiny, and cooking. Building tidying. Strength. Slow learner. Ugh. I think we're going to bring in an Ada. Uh, so we're going to bring in Mr. BTG. That is, to you, build the great. To me, it's my wonderful friend, BTG. Uh, thank you so much for being a lovely Patreon supporter. Welcome to the colony, sir. Uh, SPAC. Okay, uh, we're going to give you the skills of finding you in the list. Okay, there. Uh, we sort of need a second chef. Digging would be helpful. But digging is an outside the base thing. Plumbing and strength is an inside the base thing. 
I think BTG is going to go in as a secondary cook. Uh, priorities for Mr. BTG is going to be cooking, cooking, cooking. Uh, two to cooking and one to tidying. Not that we don't have enough duplicates to already tidy up, but you know, what's one more? That's a hatch. Uh, actually, don't wrangle it, just kill it. I have no idea why there's a hatch there. Actually, I have no idea why there's a hatch there either. Critters. Sweetles only. There's another one! I really hope eggs are not getting out of there. If they are, we're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. Uh, that's right. We'll just play gang up on the hatches. Wow. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do... Oh, this is so slow to get done. Uh, I think I've just loaded the dupes with way too many tasks. We're going to put a buddy button there at least. Uh, okay, so, a couple of things. We've got the water pipe in. You are set to above one kilo. So, if we find more than one kilo worth of water, we will open the shutoff and pump the water over here and dump it into this little storage container. Which is probably good, because I would really, really, really like to knock out this one tile. Except, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, thirteen, twenty tiles worth of liquid. Eh? It, it would flood our thermoregulator. Which means that potentially our food would defrost. Uh... You're at minus 30. Hmm. Fry guy just finished cooking something. Uh, Frostbite. Properties. Uh, 90 odd degrees. Uh, conveyor overlay. Okay. It's right there. And then it falls into there. It joins with the rest of the pile. It's at minus 0.04. It does say deep freeze because the the air it's in is at minus 30 degrees and it's sitting on a minus 30 degrees tile. But oh my gosh, that's hot. And that's going to be one of the constant problems. We're constantly dumping more heat into these tiles. So if I turn off that machine, that could be very bad. Okay, uh, actually, whilst I think about it, uh, Mr. BTG, uh, you can't go out. So, uh, going back to our oil biome, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm definitely... Please don't repair it. Just deconstruct it. What? We, we did find, like I said, one of these lovely POIs, uh, which we are definitely going to deconstruct. You, 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 and you. We are going to definitely throw somebody into the chair. I'm pretty sure JD screwed up, so he's going to jump in the chair. At the same time, we are going to deconstruct those two tiles. Uh, dig up, no, pray nine, dig up, dig across, because I'm definitely at the point I'm ready to micro a dupe to make as much progress as quickly as possible. Because I want to get over here and find out what the hell the, where the hell the oil is, if there is even oil. Uh, and there's electrical wire. Let's pull that out too. Okay. Uh, well, there's oil. There's more oil. Can I... Yep, pray 9. Keep going this way, guys. Because I'd like to see the other end of the map. And that goes up. Okay, we're gonna... Grab those ladders. Let's assume we kept going in a dead straight line. And let's assume we put a row of ladders through there as well. Sure. Uh, deconstruct buildings. Let's take out you, you, and you. And... Dig that. Okay, meanwhile, let's keep digging this way. Pretty nine. Uh, if we dig out those two, we can dig out those two. We can dig out that. We can dig out this. No! Don't have a break. Yeah, it looks fine so far. Uh, deconstruct. Okay, 
Uh, so once I get my brain shuffled, uh, this side is completely dug. So we're going to priority five, one, two, three, four, right the way across. Uh, three tiles down, right the way across. Uh, four tiles down, we don't want to knock that anymore. We will throw in oh, another ladder, which like perfectly clipped the top of the things. 1.4 million zombie spores. Sure. We'll see how bad that gets in just a minute. Uh, meanwhile, can we just keep going this way, please? It's Friday night. This is this is this is the importance. Eh, it's fine. Can, can, no, no diggy, diggy, diggy. Carpe diem. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, getting here very slowly. Very slowly. Oh, we can do that actually, and we can. Oh, that's another break in the biome. So we got two breaks in the biome so far. Can we grab those? Ah, uh, that's sand. So I'll put that across there. Across there. Yeah. Uh, priority seven. All of that. Okay, Mimos, Cape! Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Uh, ah, that's another guy. So perfect. Uh, you need to dig that tile out to walk through, yes. And then we'll dig right through that geyser and keep going. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Go down at slow speed so you don't have the, the stutter between what's my next task? Because that's really frustrating. Yeah. The think time. And the more I speed up the game, the worse the think time gets. Oh crap, I missed that tile. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Well, that solves that problem. So we have one, two, Three oil reservoirs. Now, oil reservoirs are sort of cool and sort of bad. It means we don't have a pile of oil, but we can put in oil reservoirs. Oil reservoirs take in one kilogram per second of water and output 3.3333333 kilograms worth of oil. Which means I need to put down three of those. It also means that power cable is so not done. And it also means, this is going to be the best part, I need to put one of those there to make sure water goes to oxygen first. Then I need to put one of these here to make sure water goes down to oil next. Then we need to grab some insulator pipe, uh, priority five again, and drop a single pipe Basically, 300 tiles. 300 tiles worth of pipe. Uh, is that a better height? Nope, down one tile. One tile by the ladder. And that'll line up with that one, I hope. Uh, utilities. A oil well out of not lead, cause uh, lead. No, it was correct the first time. Okay. Uh, drop that pipe into there, uh, which I'll have to branch off to go up and down. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh. 
we're going to have to release Jenny Squid up and regenerative trait. So, Jenny Screwed Up is less likely to die now because it's going to heal 20 hit points every cycle, no matter what. You think that would be a good trait? It's really not, actually. Uh, so, we're going to have to... Run the ladder all the way to there. Uh, Carpe is a champ and has made it all the way to the end. Uh, did we release those zombie spores? No. You know what? I'm really curious. Uh, can we just dig out... Well, that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a significant building task uh, to do. On top of that, now that we know that... I think I'm just going to demolish the whole biome. Uh, we might even do oil processing in this biome. Because we've already got to run power down here. So, it takes no extra to run, to actually process oil down here. Uh, can I put in a ladder here, whilst I wait for the dupes? No, he wants to do, it, 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 it's digging. We have experts and experts in digging. Uh, seven tiles, seven tiles. Uh... Okay, first off, seven tiles is there. We'll do that. And then one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to put that one in short. Because we don't need the extra height. Okay, zombie spores. So they're doing that thinking game again. This is, this is what takes so long with Oni. Very quickly, all your dupes go into thinking mode. And even with 30, 30 laborers around. Things take ages. Okay, uh, so that's all dug out. That's marked to be dug. That's marked. That's all marked. Uh, we can reach that. We can reach that. We can reach that. We can reach all of that. That's all unreachable. Uh, tubes can reach two tiles either side on a ladder. So that's now all reachable. Uh, okay, so that's all marked. It's done. Uh, that's not. Uh, and So I think I need a ladder. Oh, we've 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 got to open it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm curious. Uh, where are you going? I'm wondering if the suits carry the zombie. Well, zombie germs have made it into our our, our water lock. I think Snow has germs on his suit. No. Okay. Slime on. Hmm. All right. Funnily enough, I see nobody with germs on their germs on their suit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna demolish the biome. I think. I think that's my answer. Uh, we're going to call this episode here. I will see you guys in the next episode with hopefully no more oil biome. That would be perfect. Uh, that would be perfect and brilliant all at the same time. Because that means we have a nice blank slate to start working in the next episode on. But um, there's a significant amount of digging that has to go on. Uh, this is probably going to be worse than the oil biome that we did previously. Uh, that can go, that can go, that can go, but that's going to need a ladder. 
Yeah, probably significantly worse because it is so far from the base. By same token, in, in theory, we can get lots of chips to, to actually do the work, except, you know, the thinking time problem I spoke about. Anyway, all right, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys in the very next episode. And as always, uh, can you do me a favor and say hi to your mom for me? All right, we're out. Bye. Thank you.